Hey what's up David Alex for ideas to creations quick tip. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to add motion blur to linear wipe. If you've used linear wipe before you'll know that once you switch on the motion blur switch for the layer and for the composition you do not actually get motion blur. Now that's because of the way linear wipe works and to add this it's pretty simple. Go to the feather control hold down alt click and then you're going to pick whip the transition completion control. You can do that in the timeline or up here in the effects. Once that's done, add a full stop and type speed. Now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the speed that the transition completion is moving between the keyframes and make that the feather. And as you can see, I now have some form of feathering going on, but can be confused for motion blur. So once the thing stops moving, when it reaches the last keyframe, you can see the motion blur is gone. And as the animation is happening, it's uh, on. And the closer this is, the more blur that you'll end up getting because the speed is higher. So it's a pretty handy effect, but you may want to consider applying uh, Easy Ease keyframes because these last two frames tend to be a bit too fast of a change. So once you right click on your keyframe, go to keyframe assistant, Easy Ease, you'll find that now the blur looks a lot smoother. This is David Alex for Ideas to Creations. If you'd like more tutorials and tips, subscribe to the channel or go to at I2C blog on Twitter, Ideas to Creations on Facebook. I tweet these tips and post them on Facebook all the time. So check those out and I'll see you in the next one.